question and kind of a concern I've been seeing a lot on my videos. So I want to kind of address it to, uh, to everybody and kind of um, give my take on it. <clears throat> Just because uh, I answer it pretty much in every question and or every video and people keep asking and I know that they don't watch every video read every comment and they're just concerned um, but I would like to address it kind of in this video um, and the question is have you been weighing how much stuff you've been putting in your van uh, they're concerned about my van's going to be too heavy um, the gas mileage isn't going to be there and um, when I first bought my van well, first of all, it's a passenger van. <laughs> it's made to sit six, at least six people. Um, so, like 200, like that's well over a thousand pounds of people in it. I mean, it will, like the, the gas mileage will kind of fluctuate a bit. Um, you'll get a little bit less, but that's a thousand pounds, okay? I've seen people have a full car load um, these vans. I've seen people have six people in it plus a camper or a trailer on the back you know and uh, so they can definitely handle the weight. Uh, I'm not concerned about the weight at all. So when I bought my van uh, I, as you know I gutted everything out of it. Um, the two the two main bench seats were 75 pounds each so that was 150 pounds like right out and the rest of the stuff I'd say is probably around 50 pounds to give or take uh, just to uh, that's just a ballpark uh, estimate so let's say 200 pounds I took out when I first uh, gutted everything my walls and my ceiling are 200 pounds so when I was on my walls, the van, so I was on the walls and the ceiling, the van was the exact same weight as when I bought it, a regular passenger van. Since I did my walls and my ceiling, I added a kitchen, a bed, my bulkhead, as well as the shelf that's beside my bulkhead. My kitchen is about 75 pounds with all the drawers and everything plus about, I'm gonna say 20 to 25 pounds of water once all my stuff's filled up. So um, there's 100 pounds. My bulkhead's about 50 pounds, um, roughly. Like I just, I just go by how much each piece of wood uh, weighs. I also plane down all those pieces of wood, so that's just a ballpark, about 50 pounds. My shelf beside my bulkhead that's probably another 30 to 40 pounds just because it's pretty much plywood plus those very very thin pieces of uh, one by threes and my bed's probably another 30 to 40 pounds because um, it's really light since I took off the the opening part and put uh, just plywood it's uh, it's really light now so after you add all that up it's pretty much roughly me bringing a friend with me like it's not that much weight guys um, it's like it's like maybe 300 to 400 pounds that I've put into it I'm going by myself so that's gonna save weight and I don't have that much stuff to put in it all I'm bringing is my fishing rods my clothes and um, some other little things you know like I'm not putting tons and tons of pots and pans, all kinds of stuff into the van. Like I'm just putting the essentials of living, you know, as well as food too. Like I'm not putting tons and tons of food in it. Um, I'm, I'm really grateful that you guys are concerned about how much weight I am putting into it. Cause it does seem like a lot of weight if you just look at it. Um, it looks heavy, you know, but given the fact of what I took out and um, I do regret I do regret not planing down my walls 
If I could redo one thing in the whole van that I would plane down my walls. It's just trial and error. Um, it's too late now. Well, it's not too late. It's just I'm leaving soon. When I get back, maybe I can rip it apart and plane down the walls. Um, that's definitely something in the future that I would like to do. But that would be a big job. I mean, it wouldn't be that big of a job. It would just, uh, I would just have to take everything out and uh, plane them down. So um, at this point, I can't do it right now. But in the future, I think I'm, I think I'm going to. Uh, mainly because it bugs me. And uh, when I when I put my walls in, I didn't really know about planing. Um, I didn't know what a plan. Well, I knew what a planer was, but I didn't really know how to use it and stuff like that, which is super easy to use. So if any of you guys are building a van, um, I suggest planing some pieces of wood if if that's what you're into. Um. So yeah. Uh, that's the only thing I regret. Um, I think it would probably save me about 50, 50 to 75 pounds, which is a decent amount. Um, and I know weight does um, affect the gas mileage. How much, I don't know yet. Um, but if it does a lot, then I'm probably just gonna rip out my kitchen and leave it at the side of the road. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I just wanted to kind of address that quickly because I see it almost on every every one of my videos. And like I said, I'm really grateful that you guys care about it and um, bring it to my knowledge before I just leave. So I'm just uh, heading to Home Depot right now to get some more wood. <laughs> but I'm planning it down, don't worry. And uh, to finish my back doors today. And... Uh, yeah, you guys know it's not a complete day without Arizona. Red apple's good too. All right, so I'm almost done the first door. That's what it's looking like right now. When I was pushing on this to, to cause these are self tappers, when I was pushing on this, um, this thing right here, see on this side, this side bent down and broke. So now my door opens up all the way like that, which is kind of sick. So I think I might do it on this side because they're just bolted in here, right? And uh, this falls down back there. This one, I'd have to take this one off to get the thing that fell in there. Oh, it's right there. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. The only thing is they don't, they don't stay open. Um, if I if I did take those out because that was the kind of thing that like it like kind of locks like See how this thing goes Kind of like pops in there now the door won't move But uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do for this one top I have a 1x6 and I'm gonna hopefully put that one whole 1x6 Right there instead of putting one of these and cutting one on a weird angle But I'm going to my buddy's house right now um, he's working on a van, so I'm gonna bring my my camera and kind of show you guys what he's been working on and uh, Yeah, so let's go right now one more thing. I want to show you guys look at this calculations. I don't know if you can see it But it just fits like just If you guys can see it down there It's exactly 10 millimeters probably It just fits which is perfect snug tight all right guys, so this is a 1999 Astro. He's converting it into a camper van. He just started about a week ago or so. As you can see, got the foam already in. Um, this is the cargo, the cargo version of it, so it doesn't have windows, which is really nice. I wish mine had that. He's painting it all this blue color inside. This right here is just a first coat. He has the Subfloor down ready to put the laminate um, He's got the roof vent there All siliconed up ready to go and uh, Yeah, we'll show you the uh, the walls he's working on too. All right guys So these are just two templates this one right here is going to be for the roof and this one is going to be for the wall He still has to he has the other one cut out. He just hasn't uh, Painted it yet. So this is what the color is going to be. It's like a light blue and this one's just all white for the uh, for the roof part, so it's gonna feel super super big in there, 
and uh, it's just thin, really thin uh, plywood. I'd say eighth of an inch. I know that Van Tour wasn't anything special or anything long. It was kind of just like a short uh, introduction because I'm going to be uh, vanning with him a lot because he lives in the same city as me as well as we're going out to the same place. So I just wanted to kind of int introduce him even though he wasn't in the video. Um, I kind of did all the narrating. But once we do the full tour, once it's done, um, he's going to do it and uh, it's going to look really good. Uh, he's got some cool ideas and I can't wait for it to uh, finally be done. So I just finished up staining it. It turned out um, better than I expected. I'm, I'm really glad I took my time and uh, went with this design because I'm really happy with it. And I can just use tacks and just put stuff kind of up wherever I want there, which is kind of cool. And it still kind of gives it that cabin rustic look. This is a one by six right here that I had to put in because if I put a one by four, this is on an angle, so what a went straight then I went had to find a little piece to put up here and th as you know this stuff right here like it's really hard to put a, a self tapper a self tapping uh, screw right into that so that one's all done tomorrow I'll start working on that one and hopefully I get that one done tomorrow I got all the wood today I just got to plane it down and um, start drawing out the design and it should be done so thanks for watching today's video guys if you liked it Give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you guys think. Until next time, take it easy guys.